welcome or welcome back to Beauty Bees. I'm Iris, these are my hands, and today we are talking nail polish. Specifically, fall nail polish. This is sort of my mood board for fall. I've been thinking of the, these not as specific product recommendations, but if I were to put together a Pinterest board, do people use Pinterest anymore? I can't say I've been on there in like at least five years. But if I had a Pinterest board entitled Fall Nail Polishes for 2024, these would be the polishes that I'd be pitting. And I think there are 16 of them to talk about today. We are starting with the creams. And isn't this just the prettiest little rainbow of fall colors? I feel like this looks like a palette that you would put out if you were doing a Thanksgiving craft. Let's start with this deep, like, purpley wine color. This is Zip Wine. I tend to think of this as being right on the border between red and violet. I think in comparison to everything else here, it's pulling a little bit more purple. But if I put this with a bunch of purples, it looks quite red. A good orange is, of course, a classic for fall. Uh, this is one of the Essie Fast Dry polishes in a flash sale. I love this formula, and I feel like this is a really pretty, like, happy orange. This is the type of orange that can go very Thanksgiving, but it can also go very Halloween. I mean, you put any kind of black or gold topper on this polish, and... Suddenly, it's a Jack Lantern Halloween manicure. So, really looking forward to wearing that one. I think I'm going to have to bring this one out for uh, my project polish sometime this fall. If I were to recommend one polish in this entire video to purchase, it would be this one. This is Saffron the Move from the Essie Expressi line. And this is just a go-to for me for any season. It is a very warm shade, but even against my quite cool skin tone, it looks really put together. It looks very neutral, very work appropriate, and it's incredibly quick and easy. These polishes, by the time you have finished the first coat, you are ready for the second coat. And once it's been maybe five minutes or so, it's hard to mess them up. You're not going to, you know, tap against something a little bit too hard and somehow mess up like seven nails, including two on the hand that you didn't even touch anything with. So that is great. I love this polish. And I feel like this really camel tone works really well for fall. Next we have a yellow. This is not quite a mustard and not quite a true like primary yellow either. It's a little bit in between the two, which I think makes this great for fall. The shade name on this one is Light and Fairy. I think this was part of a spring collection, which I don't really see. I feel like this is much more of a fall color because it does have that little drop of like olive to it but it's beautiful either way and you know what i did wear this in summer and quite enjoy it as well so maybe it's more versatile than i'm giving it credit for right now these two olive greens are maybe a little bit too similar to both be in the video but i was having a really hard time picking between the two so the first one that we have is Later Alligator from Sally Hansen Insta-Dry. This is a little bit lighter and a bit more what I consider like a swamp green. Whereas this Zoya shade, Althea, is a little bit deeper. This has more yellow. This is more green. I quite like both of them. I was having a hard time picking between the two. I think that... In comparison, the Sally Hansen reads as a little bit more of a colorful nail polish, and the Zoya reads more as a neutral. 
So I wear both of them, but not interchangeably. I think I've convinced myself they did both belong in the video. So yay for me. And then the last cream polish I have to talk about is this lovely like milk chocolate brown from Sally Hansen Insta Dry. This is from their Kisses collection that came out for I think Easter this year. And it's called More Kisses Please. It is a really lovely chocolatey brown. I wanted to have something besides the purple that wasn't super warm leaning. I feel like this is just a hint warmer than like a true neutral brown, but it's pretty close. And this is like spot on the color of Hershey's chocolate, which is kind of weird and kind of great at the same time. So I think that wraps up the creams. Let's move on to the more interesting finishes. So for the shimmery and matte and metallic polishes, I found myself going a little bit deeper and a little bit grungier than I did with the creams. So the first one that we are talking about today is Sansa from Zoya. This is a blue based purple and it has some green yellow shimmer in it. I say some, it's actually quite a bit of green, greenish yellow shimmer. It gives an interesting contrast to that like cooler toned purple base. I think it's really interesting and I feel like it takes a polish that I would generally think of as more of a winter shade into a very like grungy fall place. I feel like this one doesn't really need any explanation. This is Sedona from Zoya. Even the name sounds like fall. And this is a, I don't know, rusty base color that has quite a bit of shifty shimmer to it that goes sort of coppery, it goes sort of golden. At some angles, this looks more brown or more red. It's really lovely. It is like all the colors of the trees in fall blended into one nail polish. And I think that the depth that this has gives it that witchy vibe that I was talking about earlier. Absolutely beautiful. I'm looking forward to wearing this. Next we have a gold. This is from Color Club. And as the label will tell you about 10 times over, this is a holographic nail polish. This is in the shade Good as Gold. I think that this is a great option for fall because it's not a really clean gold. It leans kind of green. It has that little bit of olive to it. And it just looks kind of dirty and grungy, but in the absolute best way. The next polish I'm actually wearing today, I do have a topper over this, but this is Pinnacle Polish The Entwood. Now, if you are familiar with Lord of the Rings, the Ents are essentially like living tree beings. And I feel like they captured the essence of them with this nail polish. It's this deep green sort of an olive tone of green that has quite a bit of gold shimmer or micro glitter in it, as well as some sort of like red shifting shimmer in it. It's very pretty, sort of like uh, the Zoya. It kind of captures a lot of the colors of fall in a single polish. And I love that olive tone for fall. like. We've clearly seen that, right? I had two different olive green creams in the first part of this video. And then the last polish in the interesting finish category is from China Glaze. This is the shade Hex Boyfriend, and it is a matte, super deep green. This almost looks like a chalkboard when it's swatched out. I do have everything on a swatch ring, and I'll show you that. Uh, right at the end of the video, but this is like Slytherin in a bottle. I think it's so interesting and so neat. 
In my mind, matte polishes in general lean a little bit fall, but you mix it with this deep emerald green color and it's perfect for this time of year. I also chose to bring out two toppers to talk about. So first we have this one from Color Club called You Rock. Now this is an interesting topper because it has gold and silver flakies as well as some gold and silver uh, micro glitters and some hollow micro glitters. So you have a lot of texture in the size and shape of the flakies and then glitters that you get. You additionally have a lot of variety in the color. I think it's really interesting to see gold and silver in the same topper. It feels very rock and roll, very, I wanted to say mixed metals, like duh, of course. But I kind of love this. This feels like what I would have thought of as rock and roll grunge in like 2015, and I am here for it. The other polish is from the Disney Cruella line within Sally Hansen Miracle Gel. The shade on this one is the devils in the, or the devil is in the details. And I mean, the inspiration for this with 101 Dalmatians, I think it's pretty obvious because it's a white and black glitter topper with a little bit of sil silver hollow thrown in there as well. However, this is an amazing topper for this time of year because you put this on top of practically any color and suddenly it looks like you have a Halloween manicure. It is just adorable. If you put this on a green or a purple, it would read very Beetlejuice. I, I just love this shade and I look forward to using it over actually quite a few of the different creams that I showed earlier in the video. This is a really versatile polish. And then last but certainly not least, I did want to talk about two polishes that I would consider Halloween, not necessarily fall. So first we have this Lemming Lacquer polish. This is in Ghosts of the Vault. It was a polish pickup polish last year. And it is a deep red violet base that has these ghost flakies as well as a warm shimmer. I can't quite tell if it's gold or copper in there. The overall effect is really quite ghostly. I mean, as the name would suggest, at certain angles, you can't even see the flakies and then they turn all different colors of the rainbow. It's really lovely. They have a nice amount of flakies where uh, it's not overloaded. You definitely still get that ghostly effect because there are only, I don't know, a dozen or so on any individual nail, but they are still there. You're not fishing around trying to get these out. Lovely. And then this looks like Disney's Haunted Mansion. Not the movie, the ride, or, you know, the Muppet movie, which if you haven't seen is fun, not an instant classic, but you know, you want something fun to watch for Halloween with the kids. It's cute. This is the shade Ghoulish Greetings from Rogue Lacquer. It is a cool toned purple base, absolutely loaded with these green flakies as well as a black flaky. It's stunning. It looks like Madame Leota or the Hitchhiking Ghosts before they made them blue. They used to be more green. They could be Madame Leota or the Hitchhiking Ghosts. It's absolutely beautiful either way. And the sun just decided to go behind a cloud, which is really not convenient for me filming the swatch portion. Anyway, here's the swatch ring that has all of the polishes that I talked about on it today. I went with two coats of most of these. I think a couple of them could probably use a third coat. Specifically, I'm looking at the Lemming Lacquers, which that's not surprising. If I were to wear this um, as a manicure, I would either do three coats or 
more likely maybe put down a deep purple and layer one or two coats of the lemming lacquer over it just to conserve polish and i don't know that even the third coat would get me to 102 percent opacity like i like this zoya sansa could also use a third coat it is still a little bit sheer as far as the creams, I am absolutely loving this little Thanksgiving spread that I have right here. I think these really deep, sort of grungy, more interesting finishes are lovely. Clearly, I have a type for Halloween. I like purple with green flakies, which guilty as charged. That is something I like really any time of year, but it does feel very appropriate for Halloween. And then I also have two coats of these toppers just so that I could build them up a little bit and you could actually see them on the swatch ring. I would probably wear them about the way that I show here, but I could go a little bit more sparse or I could sponge them on or do a third coat for even more glitter. Overall, I am really excited for fall. Looking at this swatch ring, I see a lot of possibilities. I see a lot of potential for different Skittle Mannies that I hadn't considered before. I think I'm going to have a lot of fun with this. So thank you so much for watching. I would love to know what you're planning on pulling out for fall. Do you have any of the polishes I've shown today? And what else? Um, what other types of colors are you pulling out if there's something that's not represented here that you're absolutely loving for September, October, November? Okay, thank you so, so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed. Please consider liking and subscribing if you did, and I hope I see you guys in the next one. Bye, y'all!